Hello, and thank you for joining. My name is Sandra Hudson. I appreciate you coming here and hopefully getting some tips and tricks that can help you in your daily life, whether that's with parenting, mom life, inspiration, beauty, skincare, makeup. That's what we're here for. So, hope you like what you see. Be sure to subscribe, share with any of your friends. Today, we are going to be talking about how to get the flawless face because um, I'm a busy mom. Um, for those who don't know me, my name is Sandra Hudson. I am a mom of two. I'm a wife. I am a business owner. I do a blog. I run a Facebook community group called Inspiring Beauty in the Mess. Um, there's just, you know, I don't have usually most days I don't even put makeup on but on the days that I do I want it to be super quick and easy and people tell me all the time that I have really great skin y'all can see before I put anything on that it's just not really that great um, so I'm fixing to give you some helpful tips um, that you can utilize every day to get full of skin for you so I'm using a primer this is a photo um, Filter technology, it is oil free. So even if you have oily skin, dry skin, um, you can, can really benefit from using a primer. And so the reason why I do a primer, it fills in all of those um, extra lines and wrinkles. If you have larger pores and you really want to cover those up, the primer is gonna be your BFF because Oh my gosh, and it smells, it doesn't really have a scent, but I think it smells a little good. Um, but it's just really going to help you um, just start out with a primed, flawless face. And so, it fills in lines and wrinkles, so it can combat um, aging or more mature skin. Be very careful around your eyes. You don't ever want to pull. That causes more wrinkles. And you'll notice that I'm putting it on in downward motions. What this is going to do, instead of going all around, it's going to fill in everything. And so the key when you use a primer is that you want to make sure that it sets really good into your skin and into your pores. So I usually will let that um, kind of dry and settle into my skin for about, you know, four or five minutes or anything like that. So kind of what my daily routine is, is I will do the primer and then I do my eyebrows because the eyebrows take a long time. <laughs> and they do for me anyway. And I'm just using a brow pencil. I never liked brow pencils before, but this one is, it's an, it's a soft pencil, so it's almost like a waxy consistency. And so it is super user friendly, and that's what I love about it because uh, if you have followed me for a while, you know, I am just nobody special. I'm your regular everyday girl, I'm not a makeup artist. But I do love makeup and I love to play with it and I love learning new techniques and just showing everybody that you can be confident and beautiful and you don't have to have it all figured out. You don't have to be a professional. You don't have to, you know, you, you just do you. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you get. The different things that you like to try because it's just like with anything else it takes practice so that's what I think it's fun there's no rules to make up you do what there's guidelines to help you find the right colors and color matching and all that and I can definitely help if you're clueless and don't know but most of it is just playing around and expressing yourself. And I didn't bring a spoolie in here. I usually will do that and then brush it out, but like totally different face with eyebrows on. So now my face feels super soft. So I just have a um, beauty blender sponge. 
Always, always make sure this is damp. If it is not, I didn't know this for the longest time cause hello, not a makeup girl. But if it's not damp and like squishy, it's really not gonna do you any good. You can use your fingers, you can use your hands, you can use a makeup brush. I just prefer to um, use this because yeah. So what I think I'm gonna do is just to kind of show y'all how um, much, how great the coverage is. I'm using a CC cream. This currently comes in four shades. CC stands for color correcting and you'll notice my skin's not that perfect right now. I have a lot of random breakouts and red splotchiness. The CC cream is great for any kind of redness, uneven skin tone, maybe if you have some acne. I put way too much on, so sorry. I put enough on my finger to do my whole face, so we're just gonna work with it. Um, but obviously y'all can see. And I'm just gonna take my little sponge and we're just going to start blending. And you'll notice that I'm doing these little dabbing motions on my face. Instead of rubbing it, where you're rubbing the product off, this is almost like a stippling motion. So what you're gonna do is this just kind of pushes the product into your skin and this is how you're going to get that flawless coverage that you want. I just, I'm extra careful around the eyes because we don't want to cause any drag or anything like that and create more wrinkles under the eye. So just be extra careful. I have a little mirror here in case I can't see. You just bring it down. For most days, since I don't do a whole lot of makeup every single day, this is the perfect coverage for me because look at how even my skin tone is. I will probably go and add a concealer on top of this breakout spot until it goes away. But for the most part, this is my secret to flawless skin. Um, that only took a couple of minutes. Primer, CC cream, color correcting, it's pretty much perfect. Um, so I hope that helps. If y'all have any questions, drop them down here in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and share. And thank you for joining. Bye.